Do you face ridicule from the people you work with for how many tabs you have open? If your Chrome browser looks like a sea of tiny tabs all competing for space, this one's for you. One of my viewers mentioned they'd love to see a video on how to utilize tab grouping, and it's such a great idea. If you're juggling a dozen websites at once, this quick tip can seriously boost your workflow and your organization. All right, so let's dive in. I've got multiple tabs currently open. I'm, I'm working on planning for the next two months, so I've got six Google Docs open for a different week of lesson planning. And like most of us, I also have a bunch of other tabs open, resources, grading sites, and maybe even a few that don't even need to be around my plans. So in order to keep my planning tabs separate, I'm gonna create a group just for my planning tabs. Uh, there are a couple ways to do it. The easiest way that I found is I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Google Docs open for just for planning for the next two weeks, two months. So I'm gonna right click any of these. I'll just right click the one I have open and click add tab to new group. So I'm gonna label this group planning and I'll identify it with this blue color button uh, simply because it looks just like the Google Docs color. So once I have that, all you have to do is click out of it. And that one file is now in a group. To get the others in there, all you gotta do is just drag them on in. Drag them in there. Now you have two files. You kind of see how this blue line here at the top, these are both in that group. And if I clicked planning, it would collapse those two files. They're, they're in the, that group. So to show them back again, I click planning and then they pop up again. Now, another way you can add all five of these in at one time is just if you're on a Windows machine, click control. If you're on a Mac, hold down command and click these. So I'm holding down command and I'm clicking these. Now, all of these are selected and all I have to do is to click it and drag it under into planning. And now all seven of these files are in this planning group. If I click this, it's going to close all seven of them and show the remaining tabs I have open. If I want to open them back up again, I just click the planning and those tabs are now available. If you are done with planning and you want to release all these tabs, you can ungroup and it'll ungroup all of them. If there's only one, let's say this Canva doesn't belong in here, I'm going to click that one, right click it, and hit remove from group. And now that tab is no longer in the group. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in that planning group. If you have to close down your windows, Chrome will remember your groups when you close and reopen your windows. So your lesson plan groups will be waiting for you the next time you open it. When you're done, again, all you do is right click planning, hit ungroup to ungroup them all. Now, if you hit ungroup, they'll all still be on your window, but if you hit delete group, it'll take that group completely out. I'm gonna ungroup it for now. And you'll see them all pop back up. This tip is for anyone, but especially for teachers. It's one of the easiest ways to keep your digital workspace organized. You might have one group for lesson plans, another for grading tools, maybe one for student projects, each color coded and ready to go. It's a small change that makes a big difference in your focus and in your productivity. So the next time your screen feels overloaded with tabs, try organizing them with groups. It's built right into Chrome, takes seconds to set up, and once you start using it, you'll wonder how you ever worked without it. If this quick tip helped you out, give it a like and subscribe for more teacher tech tools to make your digital life easier. And let me know what you'd like to see in future videos. I'll see you next time.